Hello. Hello and good morning. How are you guys doing today? Oh, thank you. Great, man. How about yourself? Absolutely fantastic. I got to tell you that I, I am so proud of MTV teaming you guys up because I am an artist, and I've always said that art is more than just being a chef or a musician. It's more than just being somebody who sketches on a pad. But you guys are bringing out art and creative mind when you set it free inside the, the Smithsonian Institute. Thank you. We're excited, too. I mean, you you are actually, I mean, it, it's like you're opening up the door for, for viewers of, of the show to see that modern day art is just as brilliant as those that came before us. I love that, Arrow. And what, what you say is so important because I don't know if people really realize how many connections there are between different forms of art, whether it's music, whether it's visual art. There are these themes that continue to present themselves no matter what the medium is and as you see throughout the show this creative process that begins to really shine through man to turn it into a competition though now like i said i'm an artist i know how emotional i get when i'm put under pressure with art what are you well i think one of the things when we started talking about what the show could be like was that competition is being an artist is such an individual practice, mm -hmm. an individual experience, often alone in your studio. And so most artists, when they're making work, are not thinking about competing at all. And so one of the things that we really wanted to convey in this exhibition was sometimes the collaborative nature of both art making, but also being part of an artist community. Mm -hmm. And I think you really get a sense of that in the exhibition, that it's it may be seen as a competition, but I'm sure that the artists themselves, when they were making work, were thinking about making the work um, to the best of their ability. And it's almost as if you, um, an artist sets that, um, that singular experience, I'm going to just try to make the best work possible. And the overall framework of the show may have been competitive, but the spirit was actually more collaborative and collegial, actually. I'm so glad that you said the artist community because that's one of the things that Charlotte has always been trying to do with, with their community in Uptown Charlotte and that is is that we've got to come together and work as one as creative minds because it's it's through creativity that we reach a brighter tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, and I that's think... Beautifully said. Yeah. Dumb you go on. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to say beautifully said and I think the collaborative nature presents itself in the exhibit and Melissa, you guys were great for thinking of this. Nobody's eliminated or actually leaves the show after each competition. So throughout those several weeks, you start to see this community get stronger and stronger as the challenges go on and on. So you don't lose that, that, that thing of an artist being voted off the island, so to speak. And like this kind of competitive nature where folks are trying to say there's actually a vested interest in making sure the community and the collaboration remain strong throughout the season. I was just going to say that, um, you know, here at the Hirshhorn, which is our National Museum of Modern Art, we're interested in presenting the art and artists of our time. And within that, we have this strong idea that artists can be the voice of a society. And I think that that's what we can learn from this show, that each artist, and the seven artists are so different from one another. They all have, they all make art in very different ways and use different techniques and use different materials. And yet um, there are these points of connection that I really think viewers will get from them. They are people first and foremost, and we learn their stories and their histories and their, you know, about their family background. And so I think if anything, as a, uh, as a museum, the Herschel and the Smithsonian, we were really interested in demystifying yeah. the art world and demystifying art making. That here are artists who are people first and foremost making their way in the world, but at the heart of everything they do is this sense of creativity. And that's, I think, the real takeaway with this show, that you get a sense of what are the issues of our time through the vision of artists. 
You're, you're so right about that when it comes to that we're all individuals as creative minds because it came out and it was introduced to this entire nation during the Black Lives uh, Are Important movement. And the reason why is because we they, everybody was given the opportunity to paint their city streets. And that moment changed lives because the whole world came to those streets to watch what was going on. And a show like this on MTV is, is taking that moment and saying, look, you can be just as creative, but you've got to let it go. It doesn't belong to you. And I think I think that moment too. We saw the power of symbols. Yes, the Matter, yes. Too, right, these statues of colonizers being taken down across different cities. So it it really in that moment it was a very interesting kind of study in the power of archival of putting statues up in effigy. What does this actually mean, right? You know, what what does it mean to walk past? this symbol of this person every single day and what does that remind you of? It's the same way where if you flip that on its head, what does it mean if we have redemptive art that's more progressive and that speaks to where we're going as a society? Those those things go hand in hand. So you're absolutely right. And those are some of the challenges uh, and the prompts. We won't give them away, but there are prompts throughout the season uh, that kind of speak to this messaging that you're talking about. So I, I think you're going to love this season. Well, I, I'm, I'm in love with the show. And, and I think the reason why is because it teaches viewers okay. that, that, you know, take a chance. You, you make it happen. And that's what's, what's great about these seven artists. They're taking chances, and it's right there in the front of the two of you. Man, I was, I was talking to somebody about this yesterday. I was asked what was the thing that I learned from working on this show. And I said, the, the message that came through for me most clear is the bravery that it takes to be an artist, right? <laughs> you create this thing <laughs> you're in front of everybody. Uh, we're watching you work. And normally they don't work in this short time span. People mm-hmm. don't watch them work. And then you have a crit session right after you pour your soul into the thing, and then folks come and talk to you about this, this piece of you that you just gave us. And then you're brave enough to do that again the following week, oh. no matter what the result of that is. I was like, man, listen, I have no it, excuse. You know, it's really true. Yeah. It's true. It, requ- it really does take a lot of courage to make something from nothing, Yep. Mm-hmm. which artists do every day, and then they put it out there in the world. And so that, actually putting it out there in the world, is something that they do when they show their work in a museum. But within this show, they were doing that every week. So they they were making a new artwork every week and then kind of bearing their soul and allowing the judges (laughs) to talk to them about it. There was a whole back and forth. Wow. Well, I'm proud of both of you, and I can't wait to talk with you during season two and season 25, because this is the first step of a brand new beginning. Oh, uh, Errol, I love you. I love the thank energy. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I really can't wait for you and your viewers to see it, man. It's, it's really a sight to see. That's going to be a beautiful season. Well, you be brilliant today, the two of you, okay? All right, man. Great to meet you. Thank you.